Well, I think it's a great challenge for teachers today. Teachers who have been trained in the old methods assume that everything is about them, it's about their performance, they direct everything that goes in the classroom. When I was learning to be a teacher, having classroom control was thought to be the major skill. So being someone who controls everything um, is the kind of um, starting point for most teachers. And of course, in a sense, that's right. They need to design learning experiences which really engage young people because if the classroom is chaotic, noisy, undisciplined, no one learns. So I'm not advocating that. But what I think teachers do need to do is to think about what kinds of opportunities they can design for learners to be part of designing great learning experiences. And that has to do, we sometimes sum it up in uh, voice and choice. In other words, learners can express their opinions about what it is they are learning and how they learn it. They can have opportunities to follow some of their own passions, things that they care really passionately about and want to learn deeply about. They can have opportunities to discuss how these things might be learned. For example, the balance between using technology connecting with the world, using the real world, being out amongst the community and being engaged in real life problems and using books and research materials in a much more conventional way. So getting that balance right, the learner, the student, ought to have some opportunities to be a part of that discussion. And a teacher should, I think, be helping them to make those choices. And then I think that teachers need in particular, to be fostering what we call growth mindsets. There's been a great deal of research over the last, I guess, 10 years about mindsets and how in the past our, our sort of starting point was that intelligence is fixed, you can't do anything about that, you are clever or you're not, or you're creative or you're not. And now we understand much more how if you have a growth mindset, you can grow your own intelligence. You can understand that by practice, by effort, with the right mentorship, with the right tools, with the right opportunities, you can grow in ways that no one can predict or anticipate. So for teachers, I think one of the most important skills right now is to learn themselves how to foster growth mindsets in their students. And in so doing, they will have a much more satisfactory teaching life. They will enjoy it more and they will love seeing their students take off and accelerate their learning.